the best thing about the Scarpa campus is the um, the relationship you have with the lecturers. Everybody knows the lecturers' first names. It's a first name basis, and there's never any problem with going to see them or anything like that. Um, and furthermore, you know so many people on campus. Um, it's a real little community thing going on. It's a very good course to do. It's not especially hard. It's not easy, but it's not you know super huh? difficult or anything. The course is awesome. It's really good and it kind of, if you're a practical person and you like doing stuff instead of just sitting and reading, if you like actually getting out and doing the job, um, this is definitely the course for you. The food I've been uh, quite impressed with, with, but I like almost anything anyway, so I knew food wouldn't be a problem before I came and I've been pleasantly surprised by the amount, quality and quantity of the food. There's been rice and fish a, a and lot, fish and yeah. rice. <laughs> yes, lots that's of about rice. Lots and prawn and lots crackers. Of rice. Yeah. <laughs> this is our accommodation. We've basically got the um, two wooden beds. The beds are quite comfy. They're um, a little bit harder than like, the ones you used to at home, but it's more comfy than the sleeping room, like on the floor. And um, we've got our mosquito nets above here to stop them getting bitten in the night. We've got a tarpaulin roof to stop the rain dripping in through the corrugated iron at the top. This is the Mandy right here. Nice big cold tank of water here. Um, nice big concrete. Basically, everybody shares this. So what you do is you got one of these big buckets, fill it up, and you chuck it over yourself. And you just, oh. All right. Next thing is if you need the toilet, obviously that's what it is. You can't put any toilet paper or anything in. So since we're Westerners, um, they provide us with toilet paper. Obviously, we've run out. The jungle was hard work. Yeah, it was a lot of hard work. Lots but of climbing it was worth hills. It. Not yeah. Very hot. Yeah. But it was good. It was like they had it's an experience. A little campsite set up in the middle of the rainforest and we didn't expect it. We thought it'd be just like really rough and but they'd made little tables and things where you could sit and have dinner and it was like so a proper little campsite. Was it tents? Um hammocks, hammocks that we set from in. trees, that was cool. Yeah. That was very cool. <laughs> they boiled all the fresh water but I don't know what they boiled it in because it tasted no. like wood. If I hadn't missed it, and um, people have come back with the stories and the experiences that I've had, I've been absolutely gutted. It's been really good. I really enjoyed it. Quite tiring, the amount of work I had to do, but it was worth coming. Fantastic. The, uh, the jungle was hot, sweaty, hard work, um, but just mind blowing, really. It's snorkeling, scuba diving, it's been great. Seeing all coral reefs and fish. The white sandy beaches. It's definitely the diving, really, because that's what I love. Coconuts. The boat ride across was good. Staying here has been good, but I could stay another three or four weeks easily. Um, the last dive we did about three or four hours ago, I saw a tur or two turtles, which was really, really cool. That was ace. Absolutely amazing. Um, because it, it's it's more of a field studies course, so you know they want students who can go out into the field and actually do the work. So we'll show you how to do it. They'll take you out into the field. So this is a procedure, this is how you do it, and then make you do it. Uh, as opposed to a lot of times sat in, in a lecture theatre, listening to somebody tell you how to do it. And with the cost being so small, it's, you know, the time spent with the lecture is a lot more than you'd find in a large university. You know, open door policy, you can go see them most time of the day as opposed to a 10 minute slot once a week. You do get a lot of field work, especially like going on beaches. and. Um, you get to go to a mill park, <laughs> which is really good, and you get to the opportunity to go to places like this, which is I'm not sure fantastic. It's somewhere that you don't usually get to go, because it's like a once in a lifetime trip. I've been impressed with the lecturers. Uh, Phil, Phil was really good in the jungle, and Magnus likewise out here. The lecturers are brilliant, they're hilarious. Magnus and Phil are brilliant. It's been a really good laugh all the way through. The lecturers, yeah, they're really, really helpful. L laugh. You're not like kind of like a nameless face. You, you can talk to them, and they know you. And 
you get on really well and they help you out. So it's, it's definitely, you, you make more than just kind of a lecturer kind of bond with them. You make almost like a friendship with them. Oh, okay. the weird. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that Phil Wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> cool. I, I've enjoyed my course. I'm looking forward to doing my third year, despite all the amount of work I'm going to have to do. It's, and then hopefully, uh, come this time next year, I'll be a graduate and maybe I'll be back here doing a research project for a master's or something like that. It's been everything that a tropical field course ought to be. To give students a really unique experience, this is about the best place you can think of. And the journey is as much of the field trip as the actual field trip, I think. Yeah, so we have to go home. <laughs>